hi and welcome to some more FDL Captain's Edition with me, Dozero. Ah, okay, so last time with the stealth cruiser, type A, things didn't go very well. Like, we didn't even make it halfway through the whole map. So, let's, let's try again. So one of the big problems with the stealth cruiser is that you don't have shields. And that really, really hurts you. So you need shields early, but there are 125 scrap, so you need scrap early to get your shields early so you can survive. But then you're in a good position if you can get those shields early. And I think that's going to be one of the biggest things that's going to depend if a run is successful or a failure is do we get shields early? Because otherwise you take so much damage you need to repair and everything. But anyway, we're going to rename the ship uh, from the name that you guys gave me last time, which was Visible Death. Hopefully not our death. Um, I shall be the the captain again. Why not? And I shall be a um, lovely blue shirted man. Yeah, there we go. Uh, what are we gonna we we're gonna be? My God, I can't speak. What are we gonna have on our uh, team this time? Um. I think I would like to have a stray game and pillow talk. Those are good crew. Uh, if we can, we will try to rescue uh, Baby J and Jack Notch, which were lost in space last time. Definitely Baby J. Was it Jack Notch? I think it was Jack Notch last time. Uh, a stray game is going to be a lovely. Men with a red shirt, and Pillow Talk is gonna be <laughs> pink faced, green shirted man. Alright, that looks absolutely perfect to me. So, start it. Data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. Get to the exit before the pursuing field fleet can catch up! Alright, selling, blah blah blah. Alright. Um. Let's just socialize with our crew. Humanoid crew does not like to be alone. That's kind of sad. All right, we got someone, a stray game on the engine, pillow talk on the weapons, and I'm the captain again. We want to put full power in the engine, full power to the weapons. Let's depower our med bay because we don't need that right now. Unpause, and let's get ready to jump. Okay, we've got a distress beacon here. We got a... Orbiting close to a sun. I don't think I want to go there because... Well, actually, the sun doesn't make much of a difference. But then I wouldn't get the distress beacon, huh? But there's definitely a ship to fight. Next to a sun, we might take damage. Let's try to go to the distress beacon instead. Might be able to do better. Discovered that the distress signal originates from the center of a nearby system. A civilian vessel passed too close by the local sun. Their engines and shields were damaged by a solar flare. Now they're in danger of drifting into the star. Uh, there's a big chance that they try to take over our ship, but we're gonna be nice. Approach and dug the ship to rescue their crew. Another massive solar flare blasts into your ship right as you are about to complete the docking maneuver. The civilian vessel is torn away from your ship. Their airlock gets ripped open in the process. You realize that there is no way to save them now. Nice try, Captain. We appreciate it. My crew and I come from a nearby colony. Please tell our loved ones what happened here. Now save yourselves! They transmit their black box data and cut communication. Try to focus on getting your ship out of here. Added a quest marker. Alright, we got some fire in the doors room. Right, fire in the oxygen room is a bit of a problem. This is gonna be a bit of a problem. I wanna jump. Before, alright, th these should be empty beacons. Let's jump to an empty beacon, and uh, let's hope that the fire doesn't get any worse. Massive space station is orbiting a nearby moon. Initial scans show it to be empty and abandoned. Uh, let's try to salvage what we can. And scrap, fleet pursuit doubled. A bit of gas as well. Alright, guys, we need, we need everyone to try and contain the fire, repair everything. And the fire! Alright. 
Right, so, so far... Not so good. Clear the doors, very good. Let's get everyone healed up. Not so good so far. I mean, we've taken two hit points. Uh, we got ten scrap, but it's double the, the fleet pursuit. Um, it's not the best, but hopefully at this quest beacon we can get something good. I want to go there. Maybe hit this beacon here, and down there. Oh no, there's no point. There's no way. Ooh, the only way into that quest is through that nebula. I'm gonna be ignoring this. I'm gonna hit this. Try to fight the ship. Go down there, into the quest, try to hit the nebula a little bit, and maybe we can get something good before the exit. Alright. That's the plan. Children on Earth are told terrible tales of the blood-stained Mantis invasion ship, much like the one bearing down on you now. Which ones threaten the planet? Order weapons free. Okay. Alright. Uh, they don't have a boarding thing. They do have teleporting bombs and shit. Um, we're gonna wanna... How big's the hull beam? It's tiny. I wanna hit probably the piloting, empty room, and the weapons. Definitely want this hitting as soon as possible. And we wanna be quick with this right here. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, hide so that they can't target us with their bombs. They take a damage. Take a hit. There we go. Okay, not too bad. One hit. 18 scrap. That's a pretty good... You know, that's as good as we could have uh, gotten out of this uh, encounter, I think. Uh, maybe if I had been a bit quicker on the on the cloak when they fired, we could have avoided it. But then we would have taken the the teleporting bomb. I think I think I'm I'm okay with uh, this result. How's I evade? Thirty percent. All right. All right. Let's head towards that quest. Uh, hopefully we can get something good out of it. There's gonna be another encounter here. Once you arrive, your screen light up with warnings. Nearby pirates seem to have advanced hacking tools. They have tried to shut down our engines. Oh, that hurts. The crew managed to keep them barely operational, and you move into attack. Okay, their weapons... Oh, oh... Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That's not good. No, oh, wrong button. Alright, let's target this. Um... <laughs> hit us and they still got their beam oh that's bad okay all right we need to kill them quick <laughs> okay oh my god okay they were dumb they hit our oxygen if they hit our weapons we would have been completely screwed there this weapon combination is so weak all right 19 scrap five fuel that's really good actually that's a lot of fuel 47 scrap, that's not too bad. We have taken a bit of damage though. That is not nice. But let's hit the quest beacon. See what we can get out of this. The grim, grim news has to be delivered here. After hearing what happened to their relative, the families of the lost ship's crewmen are all deeply struck with grief. Politely thank you for informing them and insist on paying you paying for your expenses. You are invited to join the symbolic funeral and stay for a short while. It's uh, working our way towards that hundred, that magic 125. What are we gonna fight here? A pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it's attempting to avoid your ship, you assume that it's a smuggler trying to stay away from Beacon. Well, we're gonna attack him because we need stuff. All right, so we're gonna burst, scatter. It doesn't matter really where. Uh, can we hit four rooms? Ooh, so close to hitting four rooms. Um, maybe if I get, like, perfect corner... Uh, no, we can only hit three rooms. Now... What do we want to hit? Definitely want to hit the weapons. This is basically what we're going to want to hit. 
We have a lot of health. Yeah, okay. We gotta be quick on the cloak as soon as we hear them fire. We gotta be quick on our... Uh... Okay. Crap. I didn't hit the weapons. Uh, eight scrap, that's too little. They hail you, realize our ship is no match for yours. If you let us go, we can make it worth your while. Nah, I need more than eight scrap, man. I need I need 125 scrap, so... We're gonna ignore their pleas and, and attack. Yeah, their weapons are completely offline. Took one hit. And there we go. That is them. Hopefully, 15 scrap. Alright. Oh, detailed maps, okay. This ship's cargo was not salvageable. However, they seem to have been surveying the region. They possess detailed map and data. Download what you can to the ship's map. Alright. Ooh, the store is really far away, huh? Definitely gonna hit this beacon, but then the question... Can we hit down there and go back up? Because this guy is not in the nebula, I don't think. No. We might have to go either straight there or straight there, especially if we want to hit the store. There's no point in hitting the store if we don't have 125, though. But we know we're going to stay in the nebula as much as possible because it's going to slow down the pursuit. It's going to let us hit a few more systems. And we have plenty of fuel for now, anyway. Alright. Okay. It appears that an automated rebel scout was positioned within the nebula to warn of your passing. Ship starts to power its FTL drive. If it gets away, it will no doubt warn the fleet about of your position. Okay, well, we want to definitely disable its engines and such, uh, which means that now nah, we can we can. Oh, that's a tough call. I think we're gonna have to uh, rely on our cloaking here. Are you kidding me? It hit our weapons? Through the cloaking? Hit. Just hit him. There we go. Ah! Took a hit. One fuel and nine scrap. That is really poor. Ship breaks apart and you feel relief in the knowledge that you will hopefully still be one step ahead of the fleet. Did I hear fire? No. Okay, well, I mean, we took one damage. Not the best. Do I risk this? If I do this... One, two... There's no way I can hit the store. So do I want to hit the store? There's no point in hitting the store. I really, really want... I really, really want some shields. Okay, let's, um... Let's just try to keep going. Rebel must have anticipated you would try to lose them with a the nebula. An automated defense turret was waiting for you at the beacon. Oh my. The enemy seems to be equipped with a combat augment. It deploys jamming field to stop your weapon targeting systems. Okay, well, that makes it easy. Uh, we're running away. We're gonna take a beating here. Oh my, are we gonna take a beating? Woo hee! Okay! That was super luck. Super lucky. Oh my, we're gonna get really badly hurt. Oh, oh. Oh my god. I can't. I can't do anything. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is so bad. Oh yeah, weapons. Weapons? Okay. But... Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. We couldn't do anything to that ship. And now we're in a poor... You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. Does not seem to want to engage you in your ship. While we can't engage them right now, everything's offline. We're gonna just avoid it. They stay outside your weapon range and eventually jump away. 
Sadly, nothing to do here. Uh, I'm gonna go help to repair those weapons because we're three, three systems weapons down. Why wouldn't it let me power like I still had one bar of weapons and it wouldn't let me power my burst scatter? That was kind of weird. All right, let's heal up. This is rough. I mean, the only really big advantage of this ship is that because you start with the uh, cloaking, you're guaranteed to have cloaking by the, the final fight. And that is 150 crap. So you're trading... Oh my, that's going to be a close call, huh? Nothing we can do. You begin charging your FTL drive and do a quick scan of a local planet. You find the ruins of a recently destroyed Federation colony off the surface. There must be a rebel ship in the vicinity. But we can use our improved sensors. Quickly find the rebel ship location and move in to intercept. Please no bad drones. Alright. Okay. Oh no, okay, it's a defense drone. Good. Alright, we're gonna burst scatter in the middle here. And we're gonna want to... Can we hit four rooms? We can't. Uh, we can disable, like, these three systems, which would be quite good. Be really good hit. That's what we're gonna wanna do. I wanna be quick on the cloak when that fires. Okay. There we go. There we go. Weapons disabled. Shields disabled. That is very nice. Okay. There we go. Alright, they're gonna go down. Easy peasy. That's a good one. Alright, that's what I like to see. Good. 19 scrap, not bad. Now we have to hit the exit. I wish I could go to the store, but even if we went to the store... I mean, we could hit there and there, but then we have to fight a really hard ship. It's not worth it. Go to the exit, let's go to the next sector, and find, uh, hopefully, uh, a trading post there that has shields. You arrive at the busy long-range beacon, a massive jump relay that can throw ships a great distance, and use this installation to travel to another sector. There are a number of privately owned ship constructor platforms in the area. You find one that has a slot open for some immediate work. Okay, what's their specialty? Upgrade your door subsystem for some scrap. Uh, isn't door upgrade like 15? I, did, I mean, it's a good deal, but I don't need doors right now. I need shield, so let's decline. Thank them, but prepare to move on. Alright, let's go to the next sector. Space Raiders board, or Mantis Invasion Fleet Gamma. Let's go to the Space Raider, because... Mantis Invasion Fleet. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, you escaped the Rebel Fleet via the Long Range Relay. The ship is accelerated towards the next sector, but additional fuel will be needed to reach top speed. Uh, we have a bunch of fuel right now. Let's go for, like, full... Improved engine. They delayed by one job for three fuel. The sparsely populated production sector is of little strategic value. It is unlikely that you will run into a lot of trouble with the rebels here. Maybe you can even strike a good deal and stock up for your journey. Oh, and watch out for the pirates. While preparing to move on, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our great sector. It's an old tradition here that newcomers have to pay a small entry fee. Transferring the strap and we'll let you continue on your way. Uh, I will reject your offer. Too bad, you will regret this decision. Oh, there's an ESP. A previously cloak anti-ship battery reveals itself in the pirate position. We've got to get out of here. Oh. Yo, oh, what? No, I'm dead. All right, let's cloak right away. But we're dead here. Like. But we can't defend against drones. This is so bad. All right, well. I really want to hit the drone and the weapons, but I can't! Oh no... This is bad. If he shoots our weapons down... Doors are down. We're in bad here. I mean, one more hit like this and, and they're done, but... I don't know if we're gonna survive this fire and we can't put it out. We're taking a beating as well. He appears to be powering its FTL. We can we can kill them. We can kill them. Oh! 
The day is yours. Show us your honor by allowing us to live. No, we will not accept surrender. You're dead. Oh, we took a beating. Oh, scrap. Three fuel, two missiles. Are we still under ASB target lock? Oh, crap, we are. I can't cloak right now. Uh, the fire is a problem. Oh, Jeebus. Three hit points. All right, we need to jump. Okay, there's a store. 117. Crap. All right, let's hit this store. Well, we'll probably hit repair. Hit this beacon, or maybe we'll be able to sell something. Um, hit this, get the scrap we need to get our shield. But we need repairs right now, and we can't take too much more of this. We receive a wideband automated message. Welcome to our humble trade depot and shipyard. All are welcome, but try any friendly business. Our 152 automated turret satellite will tear your ship to shred. <sighs> Looted bounty. I mean, that would take some time, no. All right. Uh, before we check this out, I need. We need. What are you doing? No, no. Take care of our ship. Fire in the oxygen room. Let's take care of that one instead. Okay. Depressurize. Pressurize. Ah, oxygen is down. Great things up oxygen up close the doors okay all right well we survived we're not really nice looking all right let's see what this this store has uh shield for 25 I like the long-range scanners. They can make you do some really efficient routing. We can sell a titanium system casing for shields. I think it's worth it. It's just shields are so important. We need shields. Like, this is so important. You can access this anti-ship battery, improve internal AI, some drone defense. Uh, I'll probably get some repairs, I guess, with the rest of it. I would like some fuel, but... All right. Now we have shields. <sighs> All right, it does have our our engine power, which is only 10% less of aid. That's pretty good. And now we're at least survivable. I say that. Oh, right, lo loads of uh, beacons with ships and a nebula over here. Uh, I think I'm gonna go through that nebula. Try and see what we can get. Now we need scrap to improve our reactor, and then we need to improve our weapons. So, weapons is a big, big next thing. As you drift through the nebula, the outlines of an unlicensed station become visible within the clouds. This weapon come live. All right, they got a border. Oh my god! And they got some scary weapons. They're in the shields room. Now we can't allow that. I don't know how many people boarded us. One. Okay. Can deal with that. When they fire their missiles, we're gonna need to dodge. All right, let's burst scatter. Uh, we need to disable this right here. Okay. Okay. Keep bursting them. Guys dead? Everyone back to your station? A straight game, you're actually gonna go get healed up. And we're gonna depower our oxygen. When those missiles fire, we need to be quick on the cloak. Cloak! Excellent! Perfect! That hit their shields. Disable the weapons. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, this is going great. They're teleporting more people. They have two people in right now. A straight game. I'm gonna need to go help. All right, we need to burst scatter again. I think they're they're dead here. Okay, they're dead. Now we just need to win this fight, which we have a three on two, so we should win. Um, spend more time. It's gonna double fleet, fleet pursuit, but an extra twenty-two scrap. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the the full sweep plus an extra two fuel. Yeah, yeah, that's that's worth it. 
let's do the fight. We're gonna need to get Pillow Talk out of there in a moment. Get out of there. Excellent. We don't have any oxygen right now. Get some oxygen. We need to get Tree Game out of there. And I handle these two guys on my own. Right, one down. Two down. Easy shooter. All right. Okay. All right, we didn't take any damage there. Now, this is where this ship becomes powerful. Really early on cloaking with shields. This is definitely where this ship gets powerful. Now, we need more power power. That's definitely a thing. Uh, and we'll need more shields and more everything. But we can... can work. Wait, this... This was in a nebula as well. Uh, Alright, let's hit this other nebula. There's nothing here. Or no ship here. Let's hit this part. Let's try to see if we can't hit this door as well. Like, if we can hit these three ships, we might have a decent amount of scrap. Let's check it out. I should upgrade my reactor right now. A few clicks ahead, a rebel AI turret floats right in the middle of this wide clearing in the nebula. A perfect arena for a fight to the death. Oh, they're gonna... Hack us. Hack the camera in the nebula! Good job, AI! Alright, we need to dodge these things, but the rest is no big deal. We we'll wanna hit, I guess, these two. Even. Perfect! There we go, we hide. Perfect! Okay, now this ship, this ship now, it's starting to be in a good place. Perfect, perfect, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna keep disabling those weapons. I like to disable the piloting, but can't. If this fires, I'm gonna depower the O2. Uh, let's do it right away. Simulations show a high chance of terminal failure for this station. Be advised that Rebel Tech will never be left to the enemy. FTL Overlord activated. I'm trying to blow himself up. Um, okay, we disable this. Alright, we need to disable the piloting. Uh, I think we're gonna have time. I don't think it's gonna blow us up. The, the whole beam's gonna be the one finishing. There we go. Perfect! No damage. Great job. Whew. Okay, uh, do I want to go to hit that store? I can't hit that store. Let's try it. Mm, maybe I should have upgraded my engine instead. Now let's go to the store. As you jump in, you register a dreadful looking pirate station. Its hull is reinforced with parts from various ships, and the corpses of various species are attached to it as well. They are refusing all hails. Better prepare for the worst. Do they have teleporter? They have teleporters. Okay. Uh, they have a pretty scary weapon arsenal. Their weapons is nested around empty rooms. And I think our, our hull beam does double damage to empty rooms. So we're going to want to be shooting around. Oh, could we hit like... Let's see. Could we hit all of these? No, we can't. And this hull beam is so tiny. Okay, so we're going to be wanting to hit something like this, probably. Disable the weapons. Oh, they have some scary weapons in there. Alright, well, they're gonna try to board us. In the healing bay. Okay, I can deal with that. Alright, we, we gotta be ready to dodge whatever they shoot at us, though. Oh no, they're going not in the healing bay. Crap. Well, I don't mind. That will, that, that will make us take one hit point of hull damage if they destroy that. But that is not the end of the world. That's something I can deal with. Perfect. Okay, we didn't have to use our cloak. We definitely want a cloak for this thing here. That's the scary one. Alright, now... Let's see if we can't... Stop that. Ooh, what the fuck was that? I don't know what that was, but I didn't like it. Okay. 
This again. Able the weapon some more. Oh, it's gonna register impressive energy spikes. The station seems to be equipped with an improvised FTL core, which has been set to overload. Multiple escape pods and tiny shuttle leaves the station. Maybe you should get out of here too. Enemy FTL is delayed right now. It's charging. And we're gonna need to rotate in and out of this S. scatter okay they're teleporting out perfect they fired but we have our shields perfect perfect let's see if we can't destroy them Whew! okay we didn't even take any damage here 16 scrap the station generator core detonates tearing the structure apart you gather what you can from the wave of scrap that is sent flying fast in all directions all right all right see what I mean though like one, if you get this ship past the really early problematic area, you can start doing really good. Okay, let's hit here, then let's hit the store. 63 scrap, 63 scrap plus whatever we get there, we can buy a really nice weapon for that. But we're not going to have the power to do much with it. But then we can put our stuff towards power. Might buy some fuel as well. Although we're getting pretty much a lot of fuel from all these stations. You see a civilian space station with heavy damage. You receive a message. We've been hit hard by the war. We need more drone parts to speed up our repairs. We'll buy some from you if you have extra. Uh, three drones for 12 scrap. That is actually a pretty good deal. We're not using any drones right now. I wish we had six drones so we could hit 24 scrap. But that's 12 scrap. That's what we, would, we got from the last fight without fighting anything. 75. That's a really nice number as well. All right, let's hit the store. Let's see what we can get. Now, we'd like to get like a one power weapon or a two power weapon. An old cruiser that has been converted into a stationary base ship lingers at this beat. They seem to be willing to trade with anyone. I don't like this place. Various mean looking types hang around in the docking bay, following you with their gaze. The trader is uncooperative. Flames only trade with ship in ship equipment. Oh no! Then your personal terminal beeps, or we have a situation here. Armed pirates approach the ship. Better watch your back out there. Keep your hands to your blaster while browsing the shop. Bystander addresses you. You're not around here, aren't you, Cap? Well, let me tell you. You've found yourself in a bad part of town. These guys you just saw mean business. They don't care about your fancy federation. Lucky for you, I'm looking for a ride out of here. One could say I'm for hire. Could you help could help you dealing with these guys? Oh, uh, that's 50 scrap for a frickin' one person? I can't afford to do that right now. I can't afford to hire this guy. It would be nice for fights and, and an extra crew member, but I need to spend that 50 crap either on weapons or on, on ship systems. Right now. So, we can't handle ourselves. Oh, we can trade here. We've just been boarded. Alright, well... Come fight us. That's gonna be easy. Is yeah, that's gonna be really easy. Just fight in the in the medbay. They don't have any explodey guys, right? No, okay, good. The sultans, when you kill them, they blow up, and that can lead to some nasty surprises. But no, look at that. Easy fight. Perfect. Everyone's healed, and there is actually a shop here. Let's see what we can get. Alright, mind control. That would be nice, but... Drone control, backup battery. We, we're gonna wanna really look... Uh, we don't really have anything to sell. Uh, some fuel could be nice. Some more fixes could be nice. Well, it's still only two scrap. Uh, drones, I don't really want. Improve internal AI. Adaptive gel suit. Radiation protector. We don't want. Okay, let's take a look at the weapons. So we got a halberd beam, three power, two damage per room hit, but it's 17 second charge time. Big bombs, one power, 18 second charge time, require missiles. 
Normal damage zero, system damage three. Damage four to five. A bio beam! Two power, 10 seconds. Uh, how fast does ours charge? 10 seconds, so it's the same charge time as this. But it only kills people. That could let us take over enemy ships. Which is a nice increase in scrap. For 50 scrap. Do I want to invest in that? That's a lot of scrap. ships alive. It's a big part of a strategy if you want to get a lot of... That's 50 scrap. That's like a lot of... Let's do it. Uh, I wish they had a better selection of weapon. Let's uh, let's just look. Nah, there's no other stores around. Okay. Alright, let's, let's buy it. Yeah. And we're gonna try to take ships alive or go back to the hull beam. How long... Uh, I can't... Can I target my own ship? No. I'd like to see how long this beam is. Bio beam. It should be good. All right. With the rest of the thing, we're gonna upgrade our power situation, have more dodge, and eventually be able to upgrade our shield. Okay. Five percent extra dodge is pretty good. Okay. Uh, let's move forward. We're gonna jump over this one because we want to be able to see what's up there with our improved sensors. All right. Maybe we can take this ship alive! Despite the barren area, a trader has set up shop at this beacon. Present his offer. Uh, one fuel for four missile, that is not worth it. Uh, attacking them right now I think would be an act of piracy, so we won't really be able to do that, so we're gonna have to ignore them. Sadly. Asteroid field, we don't want to go there, we don't have the shields. With two shields we would go into asteroid field, but with one shield, it's too dangerous. This is the possible ship detected. I'm gonna hit this or this? I'm gonna hit this one. Then we might go down there towards the exit. We only have 11 fuel. We have to keep an eye on our fuel situation. The crew wonders if you will ever find someone matching the romantic ideal of a space pirate. Most of the outlaws you encountered so far were pretty far away from being dashing rogues with a heart of gold. Just like the obviously intoxicated captain waiting at this beacon. Demands that you surrender! Uh, no. Okay, how big is the bio beam? Oh, that's pretty big. It's not shield piercing though, is it? I don't think it is. Uh, weapons? Yeah, we can deal with some of these weapons and we can cloak to dodge for the rest. Uh, we're gonna try to decrew. They have no healing. They have no cloning. We're gonna try to decrew this, this thing. So you are just gonna keep shooting. You don't really care where. Okay. Right. Oh, that's good. I think we can do some good here. We might want to disable their weapons, though. I don't know. Oh, do we risk it? Do we risk taking damage? Oh, might take some damage here. We're gonna have to uh, rely on our dodging. Let's increase dodging. Please, please. Oh, now we have no dodging. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Oh, we're gonna kill these two. Perfect, alright. Uh, the Zero's repairing the piloting station. We're gonna have our cloak fairly soon. I should disable their weapons. Really. If, yeah, if I can disable one of their weapons, then we're we're no longer in danger. Okay. Okay, 
We can just sit there all day, dodge all day. Go. We'll get there. We'll, we're gonna decrease the ship. Did we take one hit point of damage? I think we took or two on the piloting. We definitely took a hit. Oh, you're moving. Oh, you repaired all the weapons, huh? Surrender. Nah. Now we're gonna take your ship alive. Alright, now we have our cloaking back, so next time. Next time they shoot their second weapon, we can cloak. Bye bye. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it of useful material. Very good. More fuel, more scrap. Alright, I'm liking this investment that I made. We can, in fact, right away improve our power one more so we can have maximum avoidance. Uh, we will need some repairs though, but uh, we're gonna keep maximum avoidance for now. And then when we have 50 scrap and we can upgrade our shields, we can transfer that power from the engines straight into the shields. Which is gonna be our next purchase. Okay, we can deal with ships with two shields if they don't dodge right now. That's not a very good thing to say. It's a pretty poor way to deal with them. Uh, I could hit there, then back here, then back here, but I think I'm, I'm, I want to go see what's down here before I go to the exit. Go check it out. Jarev, you become aware of a small rebel outpost near the beacon. You are hardly able to bark an order before a small team is beam aboard your ship. They must have been expecting you. Register only a single intruder aboard? What is going on? The board immediately deploys several combat AIs. It seems you are up against a well-equipped commando unit. Combat AIs, huh? Alright. I don't think you can kill combat AIs. Without oxygen. We can definitely kill this guy without oxygen. Where are they going? Alright, they're gonna come fight us in the med room. Perfect. We juke them. Juke them into going exactly where we wanted them. Hey, perfect. I mean, we didn't gain anything from this encounter, but we didn't lose anything except one fuel. So, I'm gonna count my blessings here. I'm gonna say this was a net win for us. Alright, let's get, hit this beacon, that beacon, and then the exit, I guess. Two more ships to fight, two more ships to capture. Hello, that is a scary sh A local pirate overlord informs you that she does not accept intrusion in her territories. A guard cruiser is dispatched against you. That is one mean-looking ship with a freaking missiles and end mine what is this ship? This is Sector 2! This is like a really incredibly hard to find ship. I've never tried to offer surrender. Like what will they take? Like some of our weapons? Some of our... Okay, we cannot decrew the ship. They have a cloning bay. And they can cloak?! This ship is unfightable. What the hell is this ship? And they're gonna board us. We're gonna try to run away from this. hailed. Hmm, are you still there? Are you sure you do not want to flee? Well, okay then. The modified cruiser increases power output and activates additional systems. I mean... 
All right, we disabled the, the this thing, which is really annoying. That's gonna be really annoying, that boarding drone, but it's not the end of the world. Um, they don't have two shields when they don't have their battery power. We've still have to deal with this missile, but we can cloak to avoid it. They have their, their two shields right now, huh? We're gonna take some damage here. The question is, can we get a lot of stuff out of it? What? With 90% evasion, a four damage missile hit? Oh, that is so annoying. All right, we need to deal with this fire. Like we might have to run away, but right now I can't run away anyway. So. Oh! Yeah, we're running away. Run away. Alright. Gonna hit this. Hopefully, it's a bit of a fairer fight. According to the logs, this planet is a major base for a local smuggler ring. You are hailed before you can even get anywhere near it. What do you think you're doing here, fed scum? I'm gonna mess you up good! They send a small ship against you. Right. And I have to dodge this missile with our cloak. To have to go repair this. All right, we need to dodge this missile. What's with these missiles hitting through 90 fucking 5%? All right, um I need to disable their their, their weapons. can't dodge this next missile. We have no oxygen. A straight game, I need you on the on the engine. We need to be able to dodge. Because there's a missile incoming. We're not gonna accept surrender. Our shields are down. Their weapons are completely offline. We need we need oxygen, pillow talk. And I'm gonna go help with that as well. Oh my god. Okay, that was uh, not the best. We've taken a lot of damage these last two encounters. And not a lot of scrap. But... Like, that last ship was... <laughs> what was I supposed to do there? I mean, I ran away as fast as I could. I couldn't run away faster than this. I would've. And that's with four, like, shield buttons. Ay, ay, ay. We're low on, uh... Yeah, that was a really, really nasty ship. Like, that four damage in one hit threw a 90% cloak. Like, I... Come on, game! Give me a break here. Alright, we're gonna need to hit the exit. Uh, I think I'm just gonna use two fuel. You remember the long range relay? When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Oh, six fuel for 12 scrap. We're gonna buy the fuel. Should be fuel station stationed here at this beacon. We can purchase fuel. Yep. Go for 12 scrap. That's a deal. We're gonna be able to go full speed and stay a bit longer in the next sector. Okay. The Indestructible Swarm or the Galactic Meadow? I think we've deserved the Galactic Meadow. Let's go to the Galactic Meadow for a little bit, you know. Full engines. Played by one jump because we buy, bought all that cheap fuel. 
All right, let's socialize with the crew. Let's talk to our human crew, because that's all we got. Your human crew member has heard a lot about this sector. None of it is of any importance to this mission. Thanks, guys. All right, a distress with a ship and then another ship. Let's hit the distress first. We need repairs. Badly. And we need 50 scrap to upgrade our shields. And we need better weapons. Aha! I knew someone would fall into our dastardly trap. It appears this distress beacon was nothing but a decoy for a pirate ambush. Okay, do we want to depopulate them? They have a cloning base, so no. So we want to kill these guys. Alright, continue. Need to dodge a lot of shit. Alright, let's burst scatter in here. We're going to hit the weapons. Like this. Not the best, but that's the best we got. Okay, we're gonna cloak right now. We're gonna try to delay these things. We can get a second shot of our... Ah, crap. They got their missile off. Commit your point. We are beaten. Take these and leave to us to our shame. Um, nah, 13 scrap is not enough. We're gonna take a really big hit here. Oh, we dodge! Oh, we're not gonna dodge this one, are we? Nope. Oh, it's oh, it's an iron bomb. We got this, guys. Whew, okay, we didn't take damage. That was a lucky 30% dodge. Your efforts successfully convict these pirates of their terrible crimes. Their destruction is their punishment. Your payment is their remain. Oh my God, that's really dark. All right, 24 scrap though, that's pretty damn good. That's really close to getting us our second bar of shields. Got a bunch of other ships to fight. We're gonna need to store for repairs really soon. Uh, let's hit this one first. Only nine fuel as well, we gotta keep an eye on that. Oh, a lonely lightly armed Sultan transport ship jumps in shortly after you. They refuse all hails, so you just quietly recharge your FTLs and watch each other. Yeah, no, no. Ignore them. Ship remains a beacon until you eventually jump away. No, I'm not fighting all of that. Uh-uh. What a distress, but I think I'm going to go down here because we're going to reveal more beacons. And we might reveal a store. Which... Need repairs. Oh my god. Okay, you are unable to convince the holographic captain of this advanced warship of the importance of your mission. The eyes suggest that surrendering will bring peace quicker. Now my eye are rational to a point of blindness. There seems no way out of this without a fight. Okay, that is... The enemy seems to be equipped with combat augment. Tech jamming seems to be a disrupting communication link with automated drones. Thank you for jamming drones that I don't have. Alright. Uh, we can't... Can we capture this? They're all AIs. In any case... We're gonna have a th these to dodge. These will just damage our crew, and this will need to be dodged. Do we try to take the ship over? It's an AI ship, I don't know that we can. I think I'm just gonna... Definitely gonna start by... Uh, disabling the weapon. Now we're gonna kill this ship. I'm not gonna take a chance. When the boom of this fires... Alright. I missed. Take down those... Uh, Zoldan shields first, which is super annoying. Dodge. There we go. Alright, we took out the Zoldan shields. Now we keep firing here, and now we start taking down their weapons and ship pretty fast. They have a lot of uh, empty rooms, which is going to mean a lot of damage. Now I would like to uh, disable that burst scatter thing, because my... Yeah. The yeah, ship tries to retreat from combat. It's powering it's powering up its jump drive. We disabled the other gun, the one I didn't want to, because now we can't really dodge this. We're probably gonna take a hit. I took a massive hit though. Oh, they're disabling it themselves. Perfect. Uh, I will go get healed, however. They're trying to get away, huh? Well, if we get a, a successful hit on them again, they can't get away. Yeah. They're dead. Perfect! 23 scrap, that's decent. 
Uh, we can get ships level 2. Uh, ships. Shields level 2. So we're gonna just check out quickly... Oh, there's a store, though. I need to repair it more than I need. That is such a tough call. I think I'm gonna go to the store. I'm gonna see if there's anything really interesting that would like prompt me to delay shield upgrades. But I doubt it. Oh, but repairs. Trade depot circles around this gas giant. They sell locally produced ship equipment and faction sol solidarity muffins. Consider trade with the Sultan, this might take some time. No. Alright, their ship repairs are two piece. Ammo manufacturer, combat simulator, vector scanner, drone control, clone bay hacking. I could sell some stuff as well. I might sell the bio beam. Artillery laser. Three power, 13 seconds, one shot per charge. Pierces one shield. Price missile. These all require three power, though. I can't use them right now. I couldn't afford them anyway. Adaptive focus beam. That that weapon I really don't like. Crap. Flurry laser. Clipper shower. Four damage. Shield piercing. Really good, but I can't I can't justify that expense right now. I would need. I can't even afford it, actually. All right. All right. We're gonna upgrade our shields, and we're gonna get one repair. Ha ha ha! It's gonna make the, all the difference. I guarantee it. All right. We need a lot of scrap to upgrade our sh ship. We need weapons. Weapons is becoming... Like, shield is... Okay situation. We have the dodge for the missiles. We really need better weapons right now. Alright, this just signal here. With a ship. Uh, we're gonna hit that, that, that. And then go through the nebula. To try and slow down. We only have 9 fuel. We have 9 fuel right now. What do we got here? You come across a freighter of NG refugees. It is unclear if they flee from the rebels or the Mantis invader, but their ship is seriously damaged and they surely need help. Sorry. Fuck. I have the scrap to help you. Alright. What we got here? Uh -oh. Pick up the last broadcast from a rupturing Zoltan fighter. The Mantis, they're here, please! You're interrupted by fire off the port bow. Right, they got... A missile, they got two shields, that's gonna be super annoying. We're gonna need to prioritize disabling the shields, which is luckily right next to the weapons. This is gonna kill our crew, this is the one that we need, really need to dodge. So we don't need the shields right now, we need to dodge. Uh, maybe, do we wanna target the shields or we're gonna target the piloting? I think we're gonna wanna target the shields, but anyway, we need both of these to hit, which is gonna be really annoying. Yes! Perfect! Alright. We got just the missile on. When we hear that, that missile fire, we need to be quick. They're gonna repair those shields super fast, aren't they? Hide. Yes! Dodge! Perfect! Okay. Good, good, good. The missile weapon is offline. That is great news. They're going to repair their shields just as fast as we can. But it's okay because we're just in time. Just in time to hit before their shield recharges. And we're going to keep this up. Keep this up as long as not both of them miss it. Scan indicates that the enemy's reactor has been breached and is only stabilized by the secondary containment field. Crafts rapidly loses power. Oh! Oh no, okay, that, that's good. That was just... That's just Pillow Talk losing half his health. Right, 20 scrap and a bit of fuel. I will gladly take that. That was a good encounter. I don't think we could have done much better there, considering. Crap. 
Alright, we got some here, here, then the nebula. Sounds good to me. We're low on fuel, though. <sighs> Thank you. Ship refueling station. Yep, I'm gonna buy six fuel for 12 crap. That is a good deal. Perfect. Got here. Oh, I'm happy with that transaction. Golden ship jumps in shortly after you. Your transgression here will not go unpunished. But we would rather not engage you in combat. People would get hurt. We advise you to surrender. You just have to pay the fines and can go. I don't think I can pay the fine, dude. The enemy seems to be equipped with a combat augment. Take a strong iron field enveloping your ship as one of your shield layer collapses. So, so far we've upgraded our shields and we haven't been able to use them in any fight. Okay, um... Only one guy in there. We got... First surrender, we could hear what the fine is. We don't pay no fines, we're gonna fight them! We're gonna try to go for the bio beams here. Now, there's not a lot of people. First, of course, we need to get through the shield. Ah, no, we can't. We need, we're gonna need to get through the shield, aren't we? That means we're gonna take full brunt of all these weapons at all time. I don't like that. Or we could try to disable the piloting. Yeah, I think disabling the piloting in this case is gonna be our best case scenario. We can dodge those, that's good. So this is basically where we're going to hit with our weapons. Okay, we hide here. A lot of stuff. Perfect. Alright. Um, let's hit. Finish disabling their shields. Okay. Good thing I had that... Oh, I... They, they keep dodging, we're in trouble here. We need both of these to hit. Should I target this? I need to target the weapons. I need both of these to hit. They both missed last time. Crap. This is the problem with, with, with beams. We're gonna take the full hit of this thing, though. Please hit, both of you! One of them. What's, what, what are they gonna hit? Weapons. Why can I not... Power? I... I mean... We're not taking any damage here. We'll be able to dodge there next. We just really need both... Both of the burst scattered to hit. That's the only way we can damage these guys. We're, I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna target the shields because their weapons aren't that bad. And we have a... A cloak ready. Oh, we hit both. Okay. Okay, perfect. Alright. Now, if we keep this, uh, this thing suppressed, we can kill them. As long as we can hit one shot per, which is not guaranteed here. Maybe I should disable their engines. Uh, on the other hand, if, if, if I hit them one more time with this, they're dead, so. Just need one of these burst scatter to hit. One of these burst scatter hit. We're not gonna accept surrender, you're dead anyway. Perfect. We would have gotten okay, 22 scrap. We would have gotten 12 if we had accepted surrender. Alright, I'm 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 happy with this result. Uh, everything's back online, shields are back online, we're still really low on health. And sadly, that's where we're gonna hand for today. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope you'll keep following the adventure of the uh, invisible death. Uh, if you have enjoyed this, please consider subscribing, leaving a comment, leaving a like. Those help me a lot. You can see more of my stuff on my YouTube page. There's a link down below. Or if you're already on YouTube and you want to see me live, there's like a link in the description. There's little icons flashing when I'm on Twitch and everything. But uh, until next time, bye-bye.